Good afternoon, welcome to Ebony and Ivory Motors in Scunthorpe. My name is Byron, I'm here to show you this 2015 65 plate Volkswagen Tiguan 2 litre TDI R line 4 motion DSG Blue Motion Tech finished off in pure white. This car itself has had two owners from brand new and has full service history. So first things first, we're going to zoom out and do a quick walk around of the vehicle. Then when we get back around to the start, I'll show you the car once again, but in greater detail. These videos are brutal honest, which is to prep from in our Volkswagen and Audi specialist workshop. And we give you a very clear picture of the true condition of the car and what we're prepared to do to them prior to sale. So now we're getting back around to the start. <coughs> we're going to zoom back in and we'll look at the car panel by panel, checking for any dense scratches or blemishes in the paintwork and such. So near side front wing looks in good condition. Both near side doors look in good condition and the near side rear quarter looks good. Near side front alloy looks in nice condition, just a couple of age related marks. We've got a brand new tyre on the near side front with approximately 6 or 7 mil. Moving down the near side, panel work looks good. One or two light touch ups to be done prior to sale. Near side rear alloy, again nice condition alloy, a couple of age related marks, nothing major. Near side rear tyre is brand new with about 6 or 7 mil on it again. So looking back down the near side from rear to front, near side rear quarter looks good. Both near side doors look in good condition and the near side front wing looks good. Moving around the rear of the vehicle now, starting with the rear bumper and lower plastics. As you can see, rear bumper looks in good condition, lower plastics look good, all factory parking sensors look in good condition. Tail lights and tailgate looks good. Light scuff just on the edge of this near side tail light as you can see there. Rear screen looks in good condition with a factory privacy glass and along the roof lining looks in good condition as well. Looking down the off side of the car now from rear to front, off side rear quarter looks in good condition. Both off side doors look good and the off side front wing looks good. <clears throat> off side rear alloy, another nice condition alloy, couple of age related marks. Off side rear tyre is brand new with approximately 6 or 7 mil of tread remaining. Moving down the offside, again all panel work looks good. One or two light touch-ups just to be done prior to sale. And getting to the offside front alloy, we've got another nice condition alloy, a couple of age-related marks, nothing major, and a fourth brand new tyre with approximately six or seven mil remaining. Looking back down the offside now from front to rear, offside front wing looks good. Both offside doors look in good condition, and the offside rear quarter looks good. Moving around the front of the car now, we're going to check out all lights and grills in the front bumper itself. <clears throat> All lights and grills look in nice condition, and as for the front bumper, for the age and mileage of the car, looks in really nice condition. One or two light marks just to be polished up and touched in best we can prior to sale. Other than that, looks nice condition. Final panel to look over is the bonnet. As you can see, paintwork-wise, it looks in nice condition. No major dents or scratches that I can note. And to be fair, the bonnet does look in really good condition. One tiny mark there, a couple of touch-ups just to be done on the offside there. Other than that. Looks really good for its age. Final thing to do before we make our way through the interior is check out the front screen. Doesn't appear to be any major damage, no chips, no cracks that I can see. A couple of light surface pepperings, but other than that, it does look in good condition. Now we're gonna make our way through the interior, starting in the boots. Nice size boot on these Tiguans. You've got 60, 40 split folding rear seats, all carpets and plastics look in good condition, other than light wear and tear. Parcel shelf looks in good condition, then all plastics underneath the boot lid look good too. Moving through now, starting in the rear. Rear door cars look good. There you have the full leather rear bench with three factory headrests, three three-point seat belts, ice fix fittings to both outer seats, no excessive wear on any of the rear seats. Charcoal headliner looks in good condition, backs of both front seats look good and the rear carpets look in good condition as well. <coughs> Moving through the front, front door cards look good, R-line kick plates, front carpets look good. There you have the front full leather R-line interior, bolsters still firm, holding their shape. You have the electronically controlled seats before we jump in, it's a bit easier to show you. Passenger seat, as nice, if not a little bit nicer. No signs of any dash repairs or plastic repairs at all. Interior does look to have been taken care of. So we'll start the car up and we'll run you through as much of the spec as we can. So we've got central locking controls just in front of the driver's door handle there. Full electronic windows with electronic adjustable heated and power folding side mirrors. Automatic lights and wipers in this car with the light controls being to the right of the steering wheel. We have cruise control on the indicator stroke there. Up the centre console you've got the fully adjustable leather armrest, electronic parking brake and auto hold, two usable cup holders, the 
four wheel drive, four motion system with the DSG double clutch gearbox. We've got full parking sensors with optical display, park assist, stop start and traction control. Moving back down, we have the dual climate control, air conditioning, recirculation, rear heated screen and front heated leather seats. Up to the MMI, as you can see, we've got DAB radio and a couple of other options. In media, we have Bluetooth, audio streaming, and again, a few other options. Full telephone prep on this car. And we have satellite navigation as well. Back over to the driver's side. As you can see, we're finished off with this flat bottom R-Line leather bound multifunction steering wheel. And this car's on 65,131 miles. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you've got any questions about this car or any of our stock, please give us a call on 01724 876 555. Thanks again.